kid, it's the 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 kid, double H. Tron Electronics is trying to stay alive. Um, I want to talk about Real Madrid. I want to talk about Real Madrid and I want to talk about Cristina. Um, we already knew that Real Madrid were not going to win La Liga. Um, that was pretty much given the final stamp of approval by their lubrication at their crib by Barcelona. But we need to have a conversation here. We need to have a conversation about Zizou. We need to have a conversation about Cristina. We need to give, have a conversation about um, loyalty, weekly wage, and a couple of things. Um, you see, I want to start because the two main people I want to focus on is Zidane and Christi, Christina. And I, I don't care what people say. People say, oh no, whenever Real Madrid win, you never um, credit Christina. Whenever he loses, you always um, this is great, great credit him. There are times when Real Madrid have won, especially during the Champions League, which where I have actually said, Christina, he did it right. But let's focus on Zidane. Zizou. Zidane, I love you. You're a, you're, you're, you're a horseman. Some extremely rude, disrespectful people are trying to say that Iniesta is on your level. But I, Double H, I am protecting you out there on online. Um, but let's talk about your managerial career and yourself as a coach. Zizou, loyalty is what has killed you. And you only were going to get so far with what I call the Ancelotti mind frame. You see, I'm a big fan of Ancelotti. He's done great things, but he's the past. Mourinho, Guardiola, you even have Val Valverde, Simeone. These are the coaches of the future. These are the modern coaches because football right now is the most tactical it's ever been. And if you're not coming with tactics, formation, variations, micromanagement, um, you're going to get found out. So obviously, if you have a great team, then you'll, you'll keep on winning winning with the whole Ancelotti mind frame, which is about man management, motivation, communication, and keeping with your same setup that you feel can just keep on ride riding you through. But I think in modern football, you need to have tactics, you need to have um, different variations, and you need to make tough decisions. And Zidane has been somebody who has not made any tough decisions. Benzema should have been sent to Siberia years ago. So literally, there are guys in Siberia that are saying like, yo, bro, we've, we've, we've been waiting at the Siberian airport for this for this dude, and he didn't arrive. We're told that this dude, I, look, I told the Siberian authorities, I look, no, look, expect Benzema to, to come with his bags. He's going to be staying, staying with, with you for at least a decade. He never came. So, so Zizou, you're making me look bad because I have standards to, to, to keep. And whenever guys go to Siberia, they go through my company. So if I tell people in Siberia that you're expecting a break, they expect to receive a break. So, Zizou, I'm sorry, man. I know we're friends, but come on, man. I mean, for me, that's classless. Okay, that's classless. If a guy's going to um, Siberia, please send him to Siberia on time. So those guys, they're still waiting for him. Um, Christina. When will people listen to me about Christina? I've been banging on about this guy. I've been trying to educate you about this guy, but people, they refuse to listen to me. Christina is a great goal scorer. Christina, footballing-wise, is pretty crap. I saw, I saw a show reel. I retweeted it. And it showed Christina doing things that he shouldn't be doing. Christina, you, you, you're you not supposed to dribble. You're supposed to run with the ball. You know, you're not supposed to do complex things that's your, that, that, that you can't handle. Because you're not a technical, intricate player on the level of a Robin, Messi, Iniesta, Neymar, Mbappe, Dybala, and so forth. You're not on that technical level on the ball. You're a pure finisher. Nothing else is needed from you. And by you trying to do more things, you make yourself look bad. Because look, the show rule is out there. This is out there. I, I, I saw it. I retweeted it. And it's like, you're making yourself look, look, look bad. And by you saying certain things and the way that you portray yourself. 
Wasn't this the same dude that said that he should go down as one of the greatest in, in history based on the awards that he's done? See, when he say things like that, it means guys like me will give you more scrutiny. Because if you were a bit more humble, then I'd be like, fine, but by, by you continuously saying that you're the best, that you know, this Ballon d'Or proves that, that, that you're one of the, the best to ever play, play, play the game, it means I've got to hold you to a higher standard than, than, than others. So that's what I'm saying. You've put yourself in the in the bull ring and when you put yourself in the bull ring you've got to be you you can't fall below a certain level you're currently in the brick academy how is one of the best players of all time currently sitting in the brick academy because that's where you are now and deservedly so because you're you're you're, you're breaking it up and that's whole best award they received on the ballon d'or it means that those awards are crap and i keep reminding people it's about the Um, where do Real Madrid go from from here? How do they improve? What do they need to do? Um, tough decisions need 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 to be made because okay, you have to just deal for me very quickly dealing with it now. Asensio has to be fully integrated into the team towards as a starter. Cristiano has to be benched. Benzema has to be benched. They need two or three different kinds of players. Um, they need a winger. They need an attacking winger. They need somebody who can really provide better width towards the team. Um, and I think that if you Real Madrid don't change their uh, approach, they're, they're, they're going to be, 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 be killed because... One of the hardest things is when your team doesn't have cohesion. When it doesn't have cohesion, that's that's really when you're like flipping out because only so many times individuals can bail you out. <laughs> Pun intended. But at the end of the day, bottom line is that you need to have an actual structure. Without a structure, you're screwed. So Robert, they're in a tough situation now, and I think that for Zidane, it's going to be very hard for him to completely change as a manager because Zidane is not a tac tactician. He does not think about okay, let's try and play two strikers. Let's try and really focus more on our, our wingers. Really try, try and spread the, the the play a lot more. Let's try and do maybe like a four three two one or a four two three one, focusing on the um, three guys in behind the, the striker. So you know Zidane is not really doing these things. You know he just makes a few personal changes here and there, but he doesn't really have a huge tactical rep repertoire. Um, but that's the the key thing is that individuals can only take you so far. A team can, def can define you for an era. And that has been the Barcelona mind frame. I'm sorry to, 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 to bring up your rivals, but how Barcelona have been able to define an era is because they've built a team. They have amazing individuals, but the focus has been how do we operate as a team. So whenever, when the going gets tough, we know how to come together as a team and really operate and try and win this game as a team. And if you don't have that, you will come upon a stumbling block that Real Madrid have now come upon now. And you look at that um, points gap, that, that's dis dis it's disgraceful. And so I've got to bring in the whole thing of the weekly wage. It is disgraceful, the points gap. Based on how much people earn, it is disgraceful that the points gap is so vast. That is unacceptable. These guys are on ungodly amounts a week. And to be in January, by, be, to be behind Barcelona by so much, so much, even if they win their game in hand, 16, 15, they would still be 14 points. 14 points points behind in Barcelona. That means your boy Barcelona can lose four games and say, what's up? It's embarrassing. That's bad. Really bad. And yes, a lot of Real Madrid players have to take the blame. Marcelo, so, so forth, Isco. But Cristiano, you put yourself in the firing line. You keep on reminding us that you're one of the best of all time and you keep on reminding us about how important this Ballon d'Or is. So I'm going to hold you up to that standard, bruv.